we're on to example four, which is calculating the gradient and y-intercept just by looking at the equations below. So we have basically done this in the last few examples. For instance, question A is really simple. Um, M is the number in front of x or the gradient. So the gradient's negative 3. And the y-intercept in this case would be 1, which is B. It gets harder for the other ones. Uh, let's look at question B. Y equals mx plus B. B is really obvious. It's negative 3. And M is the number in front of x, which in this case is just 2 over 5. All right, looking at question C now, if I write the gradient intercept formula down, you'll notice that things are not really in the right order. M should be in front of X, uh, but it's MX lines up with the 5. So what you need to do is you need to take this equation and you need to rearrange it and be very careful. This is technically positive 5 and this is technically negative X. So we're going to switch places making sure you switch the signs appropriately too. When I talk about signs, I mean the negatives and the positives. This one can be flipped to negative x plus 5. Notice we put the positive 5 on the right and the whole of negative x goes to the left. And then you look at your gradient intercept formula y equals mx plus b and you go, all right, well, b must equal 5. It matches up with the 5. And m seems to match to just a negative. And remember that whenever you don't have a number, that's technically got a 1 there. So m is equal to negative 1. All right, looking at question D, once again, y equals mx plus b. But notice that there's no b at the end. And I like to imagine it saying plus 0, because whenever we plus 0, it, it doesn't change anything. And then we can just say, well, the gradient 7 and the y-intercept is 0. All right, um, question E now, um, nothing's in the right spot. So what we can do is we can fix that by using the rules we learned when we try to manipulate equations. For instance, I could add 2x on both sides, which will get rid of this 2x, and leave me with y minus 2 equals 2x, and, and I can also add 2 on both sides to get rid of the minus 2, which gives me y equals 2x plus 2. And when you look at y equals mx plus b, it, it matches up nicely, m equals 2, and, and so does b. All right, last question, question f. It just says y equals 8, and I'm going to rewrite that as y equals 0x plus 8, because if you have 0x's, you wouldn't normally write 0x there, okay? And then when you do your gradient intercept formula, you can see your gradient is 0 and your y-intercept is 8.